All right, welcome back. Joining us now at the Pet Looking for a New Home is Katie Flory from the Maryland SPCA. Good morning, Katie. Good morning. So you have for us what you call a long timer today up for adoption, and that's Feisty. It is, and I will tell you that Feisty does not live up to his name. Um, <laughs> he has been with us for quite a while. When he first came in, he was actually in a lot of pain. Um, he had to have some surgery on his eyes. His eyelashes were actually turned inward which made it very painful for him, but he's had that surgery and he is an absolute love bug. He's a pretty independent cat, but he loves neck scratches and he loves naps, kind of something we all love. Um, so he's looking for a good home and we're hoping that we can find him a home before Thanksgiving. Yeah, me too. And Feisty's so what? Feisty's calm, not 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 super spunky. <laughs> nope, not super spunky. I mean, he enjoys playing, um, but he enjoys a good nap as well. So he yeah. would actually do well in almost any home. Yeah, that's great. Okay, and uh, also you wanted to talk about presents for pets. Um, there's going to be some changes this year to that. Tell us about that. There is. So every year we do presents for pets, where we ask the community to donate toys, treats, food, so that we can make sure our shelter pets are taken care of. But this year we have a new need. Uh, we have our Kibble Connection Pantry, which we've expanded this year to help the entire community if people need help with food assistance. So we're asking people this year, instead of donating toys or treats, please think about donating a bag of food to our Kibble Connection program so that we can make sure our pets can stay in homes. Um, it's been a tough year for a lot of us, and we can't think of anything worse than having to surrender your pet to a shelter. And if we can help them by providing food for their cat or their dog, we can help them stay in their home where they're happy and healthy. Yeah, we really we want that too, and uh, love it. Hey guys, they're talking to us in the background. But um, how, how has the impact or the pandemic rather impacted the Maryland SBCA? You know, you mentioned people surrendering their pets, but are more people adopting too because they're able to stay home and spend time with them? Yes, we're seeing a little bit of both. Um, we are seeing more people need help, but we are also seeing more people say, yes, I want to adopt, I want to foster, which is absolutely great. Um, you know, my I've always said, I want my boss to come in one day and say, hey, Katie, all the animals are saved, you're fired. That would be a good day. <laughs> um, probably not gonna happen anytime soon, but the more that people do think about adopting from a shelter or giving a monetary donation or simply donating a bag of food really helps us reach that goal. Yeah, that would be the day. Uh, we're glad you're here with us, though, at least until that day to help us get all those animals uh, home. So uh, thank you so much for being here, Katie. We appreciate it. And to uh, contact the Maryland SPCA, you can call the number right there on your screen. That's 410-235-8826 if you'd like to give Feisty a home. I know he'd love that. Or uh, you can visit mdspca.org for more information on how to